Hi, I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Stephen Merchant. Hello. And Carl Pilkington. Hi. And we're here to bring you great news. An Idiot Abroad 2, coming soon. Carl, sum it up. It's just uh, me doing a bucket list. Just things to do before you die. Wow. The hard sell. Wow. Well, don't build it up, just keep it simple. It's on, on a Friday, 23rd of September. If you like the first one, you might like this. Wow. In your face. Well, what would you say? Everyone's saying everything's great, and it isn't. A lot of stuff is shit. I'll tell you now, most of the world is shite. People at home moaning in England saying, hey, this country is going down the pan. It isn't. Go to Mongolia. <laughs> <laughs> the Bucket List. See the glaciers before they melt. Go on an African safari. Encounter the world's largest mammal. The ultimate things to do before you die. Or are they? If I was on my deathbed, there's no way I'd want to be climbing Kilimanjaro. It's not things to do a few <laughs> minutes before you die. It's things to do in your life. Easy, boys. Easy, boys. It's difficult. He was so suspicious after the last time. Uh, oh, good Jesus. We've told him that he gets to choose from the list whatever he wants to do. This is doing the edit. But that doesn't mean that there won't be a few treats in store that he's not expecting. Fucking hell! This is a man who's reluctant. This is a man who doesn't want to do these things. No. Let it happen. No. It's making Carl do things that other people want to do before they die. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. This isn't his list. This <laughs> <laughs> is getting a more deadly, bigger one out. Well, when I first turned up, I saw he had fingers missing. You kind of think, oh, that's a shame. I feel sorry for him or whatever. But then you realise this is why he lost them. And I just don't understand. Is there really nothing else to do around here? Are the snakes happy? They're not keeping them in horrible cages and poking them and annoying them. He's a killer one. I mean, I don't understand why you're worrying about them. I'm worried that these animals are being annoyed or teased or exploited or in any way stressed. I, I don't I don't think they were that stressed. And I tell you why. Okay. What whilst one was sort of dancing about, it farted. Who was that? That's a snake. I thought it was him. I mean I was blown away by it. Really to the point of I had no idea they even had an arse. It was it was there. <laughs> No, but... If you're going around eat, eating rats, something's got to come out, hasn't it? I thought the fart was a human thing. It's something to do with, with like, arse cheeks or whatever. The snake is smooth. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? You thought the fart was a human thing. What does that mean? It's that thing of, if you're scared of your boss, imagine him naked. I was scared of the snake. Once it farted, it was like... Why am I worried about this? Carl, your boss is Rupert Murdoch, so how many times have you imagined Rupert Murdoch naked? OK, are you, are you imagining it now? Well, yeah, cos cause you've, you've put it in there. What does it look like? Like a tortoise without a shell on. <laughs> At least it won't be a Series 3. 